Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are back here on the Angler Call of the Wild, and we are into the new season, season three here on the channel. And we are the first week here is teams week again, so we are back to having the teams. Our teammates this, this time around is Ronald and Chris, so good luck to them. Hopefully we are going to come out on top much like we did in the last teams. Let's hope, fingers crossed, there are some mega powerful teams that got hooked together and uh, randomly put together in the drawing and uh, they're going to be tough. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. We're going to do our best here. All we're into it for is to go after our biggest fish. So I'm after my biggest fish and each of them as well. And those three fish will be added up for the top three. The top three teams, so all three people in each team, so nine people in those top three spots, they all move on automatically to the Tournament of Champions at the end of this season. So we'd like to qualify early and get this done and have it done to take the pressure off for the rest of the season to just enjoy but we'll see if that works out for us or not by the way we are after the camiso barbel and or barbell however you want to say it i guess but that's the fish species we are after i do not have a diamond of them so i am definitely going to be putting in the work to try to get one of those but we want to be on that larger size for sure we want to do the best we can to help our team but uh, the Lunker Award there is the uh, heaviest weight single barbel. And then we have the Dinklage Award, which is going to be the lightest weight bronze minimum single camiso barbel. And then the other one is the highest score on the barbell and that means lighter weight tackle lighter weight line that gets you a higher score. Now we're going with the max stuff here. I'm sitting here right now with the uh, level or uh, level 90 reel and our level 100 rod that we finally got so we got a nice combination with some purple line it looks kind of blue it all matches up real nice so uh, that's what we're going with for now because we're really about hammering out and getting the biggest fish the quicker i can get these fish in the more times i can get that uh, float back out and try to catch another one now if we want to go for that high score we're gonna have to put some more work in and maybe that'll happen for us but otherwise we'll be after the lunker the dinklage we would need to use a bronze hook i'm usually on silver hook we'll see how it goes still haven't went for that as usual most of you know by now so that is what we're after here guys and we are in one of the barbel hot spots so we'll see how this goes i am looking forward to this again don't have a diamond of these guys let's make sure we're floating out there there we go so we'll see how that works out but as usual if you're interested in adding to your experience the link is in the description below for the facebook page pc or console doesn't matter everyone's welcome if you're interested in doing these competitions with me and everyone else in the group and a lot of people have come over so i appreciate that we've got looks like maybe we got a fish swimming under there yeah we got one going here but a lot of people have done it so if you're interested in doing it yourself then feel free to use that link below and join the group and maybe join up with us for this next weekend because this will be over by the time you see this but uh everyone's welcome it is a lot of fun and halfway through the season we'll have another team comp and i don't know i, I haven't fished for these really so i'm not used to the size well there you go there's a gold right off the bat very first fish we will take it last team comp we had a diamond our very first fish so i did not expect that but a 2258 that looks decent enough for now. 2258. We've definitely had one bigger, so that's not our personal best. But we will put that away. We'll get our screenshot just so we have it. Because that is a start. Now we have a basis, and that is fantastic. So we are in that spot. A lot of people are going to be over here. And we'll probably all be fishing on top of each other at some point this weekend. But anyway, if you're interested, that link is below. Love to have you guys come join and and hang out it's a good time we give each other a hard time quite a bit in here it's a really fun group if you are on facebook and are able to do it look that up so we'll be spending the weekend on spain guys and there is no hunter this week because that is an off week after the tournament last weekend so we are free to fish 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 for four days i uh, hope you all enjoy the video oh uh, let's get to it Pretty heavy, come around halfway. Still not real familiar with these guys. Part size. That looks 
similar to our gold size, I think, that we just had, maybe? Maybe another one? Yeah, it is another gold, the 2232. Not going to meet the 2258, but back-to-back -back golds to start the competition here. 2258 and then a 2232 to follow it up, but uh, this guy we're not going to need. We only need one fish this week, so this is cut and dry, very simple. So hard to tell what size they are with that reflection. Bigger. Let's see right here. Oh yeah, that's a gold. That's a gold. We need to beat a 2258. Let's see here. Twenty two fifty eight. Here we go. 2403, there we go. Finally, we were moving up. 2403 is our new bar for ourselves. It's our new standard 2403 gold. Still not my biggest um, personal best. I believe it's 24 something, if I remember right. But very nice, very nice. We caught that one on cheese again as well. Now we ran out of cheese earlier, we went to dough, it did pretty good, but I ran right back to the uh, dock and got some cheese, but we can see it's 59.3, very nice, let's uh, get back on it. Hmm. Sure look good. Ooh, that should be gold too then. Pass halfway, another gold. Now we're up at 24.03, so it's going to be a lot tougher to beat here. There it is. Should be gold somehow. Oh, we did it! 24.59, there we go. We're slowly going up. Oh, I need to go to sleep. It's early. This is like right when the comp started. I need to get some sleep, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stay up. But man, they're starting to come in. When you start rolling them gold, you don't want to leave. So maybe I'll hang out a little bit longer here. We'll see. But uh, 2459 hour a new bar is set. And back at it. The goal here, at least. Yeah, it's potential. Potentially could beat our 2459 is what we're looking to beat, and we've switched up to a gold and up hook, much like the uh, tournament a couple weeks ago when we caught all of the diamond common carp. We we're just rolling with the gold hook, so I decided to do that here. Lots of fish in this area, so might as well go for gold only. Older, better anyway. Oh, whoa, we did it 2577, and we are moving up. Good deal, good deal. 2577. Again, we're on the one aught hook, and we're float fishing there with cheese, and that is our personal best at 2577. We are on our way up. Let's get into those diamonds, but. The gold hook gives us a little more time to relax between catches and it is working out just fine for us as I'm able to watch a little YouTube, relax, and just set my hook every now and then. So hopefully this will be the way we go the rest of the weekend. Hey, go! Back on our gold hook. It's got to be at least a gold. Right out here under Ronald, who's one of our teammates. See what we got here. Oh, hey, 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 Ronald, you might have been good luck for me, buddy. That is more than all the golds we've had pulled. That might be our first diamond right there. Our other teammate, Chris, is right on the other side of our boat. This, them, they might have brought me some good luck. I've been here for a little while, and then they both kind of showed up at the same time. That's awesome. Might have brought us some good luck. That looks a little bit bigger here. It's definitely should be bigger than our other golden, if it ain't a diamond. Let's go, here we go. Oh, yes! 
We did it. A 33.59. Thank you guys. My two teammates showed up. Brought good luck with them and got us on our very first diamond right out of Ronald's uh, lap right there. I threw it right in front of his boat. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Very sweet. Almost eight pounds larger than our gold, so that's a big old bump for us. But a 33.59. Now, we're definitely going to have to keep going for it. I believe the record is 37.01, and there are multiple 36s already entered. So we're going to have a long weekend here trying to up it and try to get to 35, 36 before we probably feel any kind of safety at all. But super happy with this. Our very first Camiso Barbel here on Spain. And what better time could it have come than right here in the team comp? This is awesome. So very happy with this. Get our screenshots here and we will get back in the water. But mission accomplished. At least we got our diamond. Did not get skunked this weekend on the team comps. We've done our part at least to get started now. Let's try to improve that. Ooh, this one's a little bit heavier, but we're using a lighter rod at the same time. So a little bit lighter line. I was just trying to have a couple different rods set up so I could use different hook sizes, switching back and forth. Now this is a gold hook or better but down about 20 pounds on the line, so that might be why it's pulling. It might just be a gold doing this, so I'm not, I'm not familiar with the rod yet, so we'll find out, but that pulled pretty hard pretty quick. Just don't have the knowledge on this rod to know what we got. And, oh, that's a diamond, yes, 35, dude. A 35.42, that's going to be better than our 33.59, so that is fantastic. I was hoping to get into the 36. There are, I don't think we're going to keep up as far as teams go, but we're just trying to get into them 36s because the top teams all have 36, and I'm not sure that's going to happen for us. So I'm hoping to get into the 36, but I'm very happy with the 35.42 at this point. We have just over one day left in the competition, so maybe 29 hours or so at this point. So plenty of time yet to still do it, but this is our first diamond we've had in a couple days technically, I guess. So I'm very happy about that. Now a lot of people are just diamond after diamond after diamond. We've not had that luck. A few people haven't had that luck, but a lot of people have. Now we uh, did drop down on the uh, weight of our uh, line so that that was able to give us a little bit more score there but it's not going to be enough to be in the top score running as that's sitting around 20,000 right now with Kiel and we're just at 16 with that so he was using much lighter line than we were but that's just fine so we weren't going after that anyway we were just fishing for the fun of it and I wanted to be able to switch between two different rods and that's the rod I had so I wasn't sure if it was diamond or not but Glad to be on one. We'll throw out again. See if we can't get another back-to-back -back like we did before. But there we go. We did up our score by about two pounds. So we're very happy about that. I think we can only gain about a pound and a half before we get into the uh, record numbers. So we've got much smaller window to close that up. But I would really like to be over 36 by the end of the weekend. Not sure it's going to happen though. But diamond number three. Happy with that. I didn't think that was a diamond. Awesome, 26.78 right there. That's not even close where we need to be. That is 
just barely a diamond but it is diamond number four so we'll stack that up we'll add it to the list very happy to have it I was not expecting that to be a diamond I thought for sure that was a gold I mean very close to a gold but still diamond number four on the weekend four diamonds I'm, I'm tickled with this I kind of shocked me Oh, didn't expect that to be a diamond. Another one way down at the bottom of the diamond possibility, but it's still a diamond. Diamond number five, we were just sitting around 35% on our larger rod, so I wasn't sure, you know, where it would hit to be a diamond. I thought it was a gold out there, but we're sitting on a size eight hook right now, just kind of fishing for some bronze. Didn't expect the diamond to pop off of that, but obviously it can and it did so very nice Ooh. didn't expect that on a what about a boat size 8 hook low tension oh -ho -ho! Did not expect that right off of the edge of the boat there with that size 8 hook. It was so low on the tension and it came around I thought, well, that might be a diamond. It was. Another low level diamond, but right off the boat. That's pretty cool. I believe diamond number 6 for us with very limited time to fish this weekend. And we'll keep it going. We've got that small window to try to better ourselves, but we certainly got to keep trying. Oh man, that was so close to the Dinklage. The Dinklage is 0.45. Oh, so close. Ooh, man, that looks like a monster swimming up there. Holy cow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we finally got on another diamond here. 40 minutes left to go. Will we break 35.42? I don't know. Most exciting time right now, because you just don't know, but I'm very confident that's a diamond. That thing looked like a shark swimming up almost. <laughs> Good and heavy on a light. Oh yeah, here we go. Looking to be 35.42. Did we get a 36 yet? Uh, no. It's a 32. I'm, I'm having to guess here because I've been playing so on and off. I think that was number seven for us. Uh, some people have ridiculous amount I think everyone has a diamond by the way there but pretty good 3209 another diamond Ooh, that guy is right under the boat he's pulling hard Shit. 
should be a decent one. He was just swimming around here. Looks like a good size. Oh yeah. Oh. Thirty-five twenty-eight. We got a thirty-five forty-two. That's not gonna cut it for us. But another diamond right before the end of the competition. We got to get back out there. Only so much time left. Not enough time to talk here. So we need to get back in the water. All right, everyone, that's where we are going to leave it here on week number one, season number three on the channel for the competitions. We were week one, which was the team's week, and myself and our two teammates competed in this group, and every single person in the competition, and it was 30 people, every single person came away with a nice diamond. So that is pretty, pretty special, I would say. If you need some diamonds, it seems these barbell are a good source here on Spain if you're looking for a bunch of diamonds, as well as if, if you don't have the setup to do the common carp, then these guys seem to be it. I didn't have as much, I didn't, wasn't able to put in as much time as some people, but some people had 30, 40 diamonds, I believe, if not more, <laughs> pretty sure. But Ours came from this area, and I think a lot of them did. It's one of the known locations on the uh, Discord. And for us, as far as the competition goes, we were not able to get in that top three. Congratulations to those who did. I had a bunch of friends that were up there competing all weekend, and I can tell you they were busting their butt. They were fishing their whole weekend. I think they, <laughs> their families are probably wondering where they are because they spent the entire weekend trying to compete. It was very tough competition. And a lot of people were sweating bullets all the way to the last, last bit there to try to get in that top three. So congratulations to all them that were able to do that. But for me and my team, we just had a good weekend and we came away with some extra diamonds, that's for sure. But uh, we do have our level 100 rod and our level 90 reel. That's kind of what I did most of the time. I caught quite a few of them on an eight hook with cheese at the end because I was really wanting to go after, uh, see if we couldn't get that. Dinklage as our score just wasn't going to get in that top three so I thought well, well we'll give it a try but we were still able to catch a bunch of diamonds on that size 8 hook I originally started with a size 1 which is silver and up and then the 1 aught which is gold and up I caught a diamond on all three 8, 1 or 1 aught didn't matter now here's the location on the map that we were at I've caught diamonds over here and over in this area at the end of the competition, this is where I was focused, right out there. Let's see if we can't mark that, if it's not gonna do that underwater thing, and it did. <laughs> 177 feet, sometimes it's underwater, sometimes it'll mark it at top. I I don't know what's going on with that, hopefully that'll get fixed. But uh, 177 feet out that way, and then I think the other one, is, I've kinda, I'm kinda sandwiched in between them, let's see here. And that one's underwater too, 170 feet. So we're almost right in the middle of these two spots right here on the map. That's the location there. Uh, I know some others caught some diamonds down here. I was not able to, uh, the few times that I was there, most of mine were here because we were able to catch so many more fish in this location. So if you're looking for these guys, definitely come to these known locations here, but right out there, that's where I was, just to the right of that little uh, shallower spot. And I was kind of set up between these. I can go back and forth. So I would cast out there. And then it's mostly over toward that, that big rock face there on the left. And then they would come up right. I actually had diamonds right under the boat. So anywhere between here was a good spot. So if you're looking for these guys, give that a try. And we caught a bunch here. What, we had two or three there in the last hour? So if I was able to put in the time and we would have found that spot and I had more time, I would have definitely hammered away. And that's probably how all those people came away with 30, 40 diamonds, which is insane. But it is possible. So get out there and get those if you're needing them. But another successful team competition in the books for the group. That was a, a good time. So if you're wanting to get into the next one, which will be in like four weeks or so, then the next four weeks are um, individual comps and then it'll hit off with a another team comp after that so five weeks from now but uh if you're interested you know links in the description if you want to try to get involved in that and get you some random teammates to play with and meet some new people it's a good time but uh as usual that's pretty much everything and we were here on spain look forward to where uh, next week when we go back to individual competitions again so if you enjoyed the video please subscribe stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long 
back to work on the next video. Until then. <laughs>